Hello, folks, and welcome. Linux Mint 21.2, 21.2, the latest installment of the Cinnamon desktop for Linux Mint. So if you're not a subscriber, hopefully you will subscribe. And for the ones that have, thank you. And hopefully you're enjoying my videos. I have produced a couple so far for Linux Mint 21.2. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a launcher tool, a tool that launches applications instead of going through the menu. I call it a productivity tool. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to show you the tool and how to install it. It's very simple. Everything is point and click here. So I'm filming in 1920 by 1080 today. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly on that gear if you are needing to do that. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. My video normally has timelines and chapters. I'm not sure if I'll need those today. But in either case, folks, welcome. I'm going to use Alt and F4 to close this window. I'll be using Alt and F4 to close it, just about everything in here. So I'm going to press two keys on my keyboard and it brings up a dialog box like this. I'm going to type in CA. I'm looking for calculator. And I just opened it. So I'm done with calculator. I can hit the red X in the corner or Alt and F4. I'm going to use uh, the control and the space bar because that's what activates the tool by default. And type in CAL. E for calendar and open that. My calendar opens up in a dark mode. That's what I'm using today. Alt and F4. If I'm looking for a card game, let's say I'm going to go to the Mint menu and just point out some things. Like that card game. I have a hard time pronouncing that name there. So I'm going to look for that card game using this tool. Control space bar AI and enter. Uh, it's the same card game. All right, so uh, what is this tool? Well, it is called that. And we can go find it in the software manager. So I'm going to close that box and uh, just hit the escape key, hit my mint menu and go open up software manager. Again, folks, hopefully you're a subscriber and you're enjoying some of my videos. I have lots of material on my YouTube site. S-Y-N-A. It's close enough. And what you're looking for is that one. Very small download. Install it. Play with it. Don't like it. Remove it later. Alright. Let's activate that tool one more time. You can find it originally in your Mint menu and launch it. And then after that, you can use the control and the space bar. And then you can click the little dot and hit the preference box. And then you can activate startup on login. So when you click that, it adds a file here in your system settings under startup. It's setting right here. It's activated now. You can certainly turn it off here if you like, but more importantly, you can do it in here. So it's got several themes. I'll walk through some of them. The activation is, again, control and space bar. It's convenient. You can change that, of course. It also has plugins. I'm not really going to get into that in this video. I'm just going to talk about the basics. So that was the default theme. Let's see what this one looks like. Control and spacebar. So that's what that one looks like. LIB for LibreOffice. Enter. You can see LibreOffice Writer is there and I can go start typing away. Alt and F4 to close. And uh, Control and spacebar. Let me change to the next theme, which is Dewish. Uh, be doing this. Uh, I'll be doing it now. <laughs> A little humor there, folks. All right, control and space bar. So that's what that looks like now. So I'm going to type in SOL this time instead of AI. It still finds the same because it's highlighting what it's guessing at. I'm going to hit enter. Still the same card game. Alt and F4. Control and space bar. Let's look at the next theme in line. Doish side. Side doish. Oh boy. Control and space bar. I'll just use C A. L E. There we go for calendar. Open that up in full screen. And of course, I can reduce that down to a window size by doing it my way or the system way. Alt F4. Control space bar. What's the next theme in line? Essential. Maybe it is to some folks. Control and spacebar. So I'll just use calculator this time. 
and Alt and F4. And one more time, let's change that to default. So you can see there's a lots of options in here. Again, there's a scroll bar in here. Plugins, general. And uh, don't forget, control space bar. You can also click the applications and press down the down arrow key to see what you just opened. I opened these applications here just recently. You want to open up that card game again, highlight it, hit enter. Then use Alt and F4. So one more time, what's the name of this toy? It's that. Thank you for watching folks and take care.